Hello and welcome back to WP Globe. Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into the world of WordPress. From hosting to SEO to plugins, themes and everything in between, you name it, we have it. So stay tuned. WordPress is a software system that's easy for basically anyone to use. No matter if you're a professional in the field, like a software developer or someone who is already familiar to WordPress, it doesn't matter. WordPress is made for beginners to have a really easy and accessible time. It's safe, it offers security, it offers accessibility, and basically anyone, like I said, if you're a business owner or um, just a beginner in this field or a large company, everybody uses WordPress. Some examples are Microsoft, as you can see, um, then BBC uh, America, The New Yorker, MTV News, and the official White House, as surprising as it is. Now, let's talk about the differences between the two websites of WordPress, WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So the first difference is about hosting. So who actually acts as the host? In order to understand this, we have to know what a host is. So a host is um, a website that you would use to have backup and storage in your WordPress website. If you store, if you have a host, you can store all of your information on your website and you have easy access to it. And in order to um, ensure the security of your website, a lot of websites refer to hosting services. Some examples are Kinsta, as you can see on the screen, which has a lot of good services. And in each hosting service, you can actually choose your plans. As you can see, there's a $30 plan, 60, 100, and just basically anything. Another one is in motion hosting. Uh, again, you can choose your plans. This one is uh, more uh, cheap than the other one. Then we have A2 hosting. Again, you can choose your plans. Here uh, we have $12 ranging to $129. Then we have Hostinger, and here on the website you can see that you can go and look at their hosting services, types of hosting. And also, um, it's uh, very important to mention that there are different types of hosting, like dedicated, shared, reseller, uh, WordPress VPS, and so forth. Here we have another website. All of these will be linked in the description. Now, as you may or may not know, WordPress has two websites, wordpress.com and wordpress.org. If we're talking about the cost differences, then they're also different. WordPress.com is completely free if you go ahead to the default version. If you go ahead to the premium version, you will have to pay for it. And here you have more customization options. There are different plans and that you can choose from. However, if you do choose to go ahead with the plan of the free one, your website will be registered under a subdomain, you'll have three gigabytes worth of storage, you'll be stuck with ads, and you can only use the default plug uh, plugins and themes, and monetizing is definitely not an option. But if you go with the premium version, you will only have to pay about $111 annually for your functioning website, which is an $8 monthly fee and a $15 fee for your domain. With WordPress.org, you can um, launch a fully a functional, completely functional website for uh, $35 for the first month and then $50 afterwards uh, yearly. So uh, again, it's your option. And if you want to understand which one you should choose, if you're tech savvy, if you like working on your website yourself, then you should definitely go for WordPress.org. But if you don't want to go through all the customization process, just go ahead with WordPress.com and you won't have to take care of all that heavy duty work. So again, the, the customization is uh, the key point here. If you want to go over all the customization, then just uh, go with WordPress.org. If not, WordPress.com is definitely a good option for you. Now let's move on to the installation process. How can you install and how to install WordPress? If you're new to installations and downloads, you really don't have to worry because this process is so easy. I'm going to show you the whole process. So you go to wordpress.com or wordpress.org and then you're going to see the download option. So you're just going to scroll down a little bit and then you're going to see get to WordPress. You're going to click on that button. You're going to click on get to WordPress. And then 
as you can see on the screen, you're going to see uh, the option of downloading it. See, so you can download a premium hosting service right at that moment, or you can just go ahead with uh, the download option. Here, we're just going to go ahead with the download option. We don't need the premium or the hosting services right now. So again, you have to press on download and this window will open up. After that, you'll see uh, a window that opens up to where you're going to save it. Just save it on the desktop for easy use. After your download is complete, you actually have two options. The first option, as I'm showing you on the screen, is just uh, going with the open folder that's already there for you. So you can go through this part and see what options there are, meaning all of the different parts of the setup that you're actually going to complete. So you can just scroll through here, press on each one and uh, go through the detailed descriptions if you um, have trouble finding what to do in the method that I'm showing you. If not, you can just close that and go with the unzipping extraction process. So here you're going to press on the right uh, handle of your mouse, then you're going to press extract. And after the extraction process is ready, you're going to have an open file, an open folder. Then you're going to go ahead and open that folder. Then you're going to see a file with the name README. Just click on that file and just go over the detailed description of how you're actually supposed to complete your entire download. Now, how would you actually set up your account? Well, after you've downloaded and installed WordPress, there are a couple of things that you have to do in order to um, completely function, have a functional website. So the first thing is choosing a domain, then choosing a host, selecting a theme and getting plugins. So in order to set up your domain, you first have to understand what a domain actually is. For the hosting process, we've already spoken about it and I will put some links to the hosting services that I was talking about. So what is a domain? A domain is the full name of your website that comes in the search button. So it's the HTTPS and the backslashes and the www dot or whatever your website is and the name of your website plus the .com or whatever option you have. So the name, the actual name is the SLD, the .com .org is the TLD and the full thing is called the URL. The domain part is only the name and the .com. The whole thing is the URL. Now, so how do you actually choose a domain name? Well, there are some recommendations I have for you in order to completely understand what kind of domain name you should choose. So the first thing is that you have to choose a domain th name that actually represents you. So what your brand is about, what your goals are for this brand and so forth. This being said, you have to make sure that your SLD, which is a second level domain, contains the actual name of the website and represents what products or services you are going to uh, present. Then you're going to make sure that your website has no direct competitors. You're going to keep your domain name short. You're going to avoid hyphens and don't use double letters because it's going to make uh, finding your website a lot harder. And lastly, you can always refer to a domain name generator, which I will put in the um, link below. Uh, I will put in the description some links that will really help you. Uh, one example is nameboy.com and I will just put the rest in the description. So next we have hosting, like I said. So when it uh, comes to hosting, you can just go to the WordPress website or wordpress.org in this case, and you can go ahead with the hosting options. Um, besides these three that are on the screen, um, like Bluehost and uh, the others, there are a bunch more that you can choose from. I mentioned a couple in the previous parts of the, this uh, video. So Bluehost. Bluehost is actually pretty famous and if you go to their website, you can just see the types of hosting that they offer and you can just go ahead with the one that you want. Then we have Dreamhost. Dreamhost is, again, very popular and uh, very well known in the WordPress industry, as you can see, because it's featured on their actual website. It's uh, an option for you to choose. And last but not least, we have SiteGround. Again, all three of them are really good websites, good um, hosting services that you can choose from. But if you don't like these or if they're not uh, up to your budget or anything else, you can go ahead with the other hosting options provided like WP Engine or many others. 
and you just go to their website and um, during this uh, you go to their payments their um, plans that they offer and you choose the one that is convenient for you this is the name domain name generator that I was talking about. Namebo is a very famous one. So wherever it says submit, you're just going to press in the name and uh, to see if there are websites like that. Another one is Blog Tyrants, and there are so many more. I will just put these in the description to make it easier for you. Another one is DomainName.com, which, by the way, is a very good name for your website because someone's going to search domain and it'll just pop up. The SEO will be through the roof. Now the most important part, which seems like the easiest part, themes. As easy as design and a customization might seem at first sight, this is actually a very important step to your blog. It's the appearance of how your website is going to look. The first thing here that you need to figure out is what kind of websites you have. Are you going to have a lot of pictures on it, videos and articles? If you do, then you might want to go ahead with a paid version. So there are free themes, and the, which are the default themes, and then there are paid premium themes. If you want a free theme and your website doesn't really have anything to um, that's going to hinder the process if you get it for a free one, then just go ahead with that. If not, then you have to decide what kind of theme you want. Go to the featured section of the WordPress website and just choose uh, what you want. Um, you can choose and personalize every single part of your website. Again, if you want something that's going to be uh, more uh, difficult and more complicated in a way that you have more customization to do, you should go ahead with the paid version of the themes. So here I'm just showing you a couple of websites in which you can choose and buy um, themes. Uh, the first one I showed is Theme Isle and there are many more. Here, as you can see, there are a lot of options that are actually the default options of WordPress and you can just go ahead with those. Now let's move on to the plugins. Plugins are so important in the sphere of WordPress because these really make your working process and your website um, customization and um, just the entire work on WordPress so much easier. To get, a, um, get an actual plugin, you're going to go to the plugin section on your WordPress website. They're just going to be on the left side. And after you do that, it's just going to show you the plugin options. So press on that. Then if you want to add a new one, you are going to press on uh, add new, which is going to set you up to the website and you just choose one and you press install. And here it's just going to take you through the whole process. Here I'm installing Yoast SEO. After you do that, you're just going to press activate. And if you want to know more information on the type of plugin that you're getting, you can just press on whatever I did here, then see more uh, information, and you'll have all of the things that you need. Another one is Updraft Plus. Again, uh, these are the best plugins that you can choose from the beginning plugins, if I may. And um, Updraft Plus here, you can see all of the details, the ratings, some frequently asked questions. Another one is Optimal. Uh, so Yoast SEO is actually for SEO services. And then um, I showed you Updraft Plus, which is good for storage on your website, which is again, so important. And Optimal is for making your website more compressed in a way. Uh, so if you have pictures or videos uploaded, it's going to make it so much better. And we're done. Now that you know everything you need to know and more about WordPress, Make sure you take into account all of the recommendations and steps to make your own accounts, whether it's hosting, plugins, domain names, follow the recommendations and you are guaranteed to have an amazing experience on WordPress. If you have any questions, recommendations or tutorial requests, please leave them down in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the little notification bell to be updated on the newest posts. Thank you and goodbye.